How's it going, guys? Uh, another uh, video here. A little bit different than my normal. I'm actually the seller on this stuff at a garage sale. So uh, my basement is getting a little bit uh, overwhelmed with stuff. And I figured uh, the prices of toys locally at uh, estate sales are just through the roof. So instead of, uh, you know, putting on eBay, paying commission, uh, shipping fees, a lot of the stuff around here, the premium toys are getting close to eBay prices and I have to deal with shipping and all that. So uh, my neighborhood is doing their association sale. So I decided to participate, uh, cleaned out the basement. Uh, one of my friends uh, came over and he uh, brought some stuff over. So going to have a, a driveway full of stuff and a garage full of stuff. I posted the stuff on uh, Craigslist and also blasted on Facebook, uh, put it on numerous uh, garage sale sites. I've had guys uh, made comments about the comics and the G.I. Joes from a state away. So have uh, a guy planning on driving three hours possibly to come look at the G.I. Joes. I did warn him that uh, it's basically first come, first serve. So whoever's you know in line first gets uh, first crack. And uh, you know if they have the money and want to pay what I'm asking, uh, you know it could be theirs. So I'm not going to really negotiate on price. The first uh, probably half hour, hour. Uh, because if the first guy doesn't buy, the second guy might, or gal, I should say. So just a quick overview of the stuff I'm selling. All kinds of vintage uh, toys. I uh, have a Nintendo in the box, 145. Uh, it is complete with the instructions and uh, the styrofoam and all that. Uh, some more video games. have the uh, mobile support vehicle. I have, uh, it's not complete. The box looks pretty nice. I'm asking 150 for that. A lot of the stuff you've seen in other videos. So in that corner is a bunch of uh, junk watches I put for a dollar a piece. Basically when I buy watch lots and the stuff that's just quartz not working, uh, I uh, it's all in that box there. But uh, G.I. Joe prices are pretty high right now. So these are my uh, cell, cell cost, $175 each on the Phantom X19 in the box. So uh, I'm asking $175 on the Tomahawk. I just thought it was gonna be a nightmare trying to ship this. Uh, the blades don't wanna come off easily. I don't wanna risk breaking those off. So I decided to put it in the garage sale. Uh, one of the guys that uh, was far away asked me what I was asking, you know, asked the price on this. I said 175. He offered 150 and he would uh, come pick it up. I said, my price is firm at 175 for now. He agreed at 175, but but again I told him that he had to be first in line, and uh, it was his at that price. So if you recall, I bought this part of that uh, Star Wars GI Joe lot. I paid uh, 336 or 334 for the entire lot, and uh, I should get half my money back just on this piece alone. So just some more GI Joe vehicles. Uh, Beer signs, motorcycle helmets, more toys. I have some uh, some of the BMX bikes I'm selling outside. So uh, next video will be uh, Thursday. I'll shoot it after I close. And hopefully a bunch of this stuff will be gone. I'll see you then. How's it going, guys? Uh, again, uh, this is uh, just a uh, selling video this time. Uh, it's actually Friday, 
evening around seven o'clock. I was, I was too tired, very hectic day yesterday. So I did not shoot a video. Uh, but I opened up uh, yesterday at eight o'clock. I had probably 10 to 15 people in line right when I opened. And within the first 15 minutes, there's probably 40 people here. Uh, so the GI Joe stuff, uh, the guys that said they're going to drive far away did not show up, but I did have a guy, uh, second line. He did spend uh, $500. He bought the Tomahawk, uh, one of the, uh, Phantom jets. And then he bought another piece and that came out to 500. Uh, he bought a, he bought a total of four pieces and I, I sold him those for 500. Uh, lady later on the day, she spent another 250 on Joe's. And then this morning I had a uh, guy show up first thing. He bought another $240 worth of stuff. Uh, see that I probably have maybe five pieces left. One is the Rattler. The other one is the uh, Dragonfly and a couple other ones. So uh, GI Joe stuff was a success. So yeah, this is just the remaining stuff. I did uh, bring some other stuff up that uh, wasn't out the first day that, that I brought up for today. And see, I did uh, take a bunch of household goods just now uh, for donation. Uh, sold like $40 worth of watches and then all the watch parts uh, let's see what else. Uh, day one, I sold 2100 And then uh, day two was another 600 plus. Uh, obviously, uh, all the big ticket items went the first day. So a lot of uh, two, three, five, ten, twenty dollar $20 items sold today. Did have the big $240 sale right off the bat. But yeah, this is just the remaining inventory. I'm not sure what I'll do with some of this stuff. Uh, I might try to put it in lots and sell it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, in the past, I would take some of the stuff to the local auction, but they're just doing them online anymore. So uh, I'm not sure if I'll use them anymore or not. Because of COVID, it looks like uh, that might be a, a permanent thing with them. So yeah, just a... Uh, quick update uh, with my sales. Uh, probably one of my most successful sales ever. Uh, I, I don't keep track. I, I have no idea what I sold, you know, 10 years ago at a garage sale. But I'd have to say this is uh, right up there with a record for me. I'm going to a uh, auction tomorrow. So I'm not sure if there'll be enough stuff there worthy of shooting a video over. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. How's it going, guys? I guess this will be the uh, final update for my uh, garage sale that I had. Uh, like I told you guys, I did go to an auction this morning. And uh, not a lot of stuff there that I'm interested in. A lot of tools and car parts. So we end up coming back home. And I, like I told you guys in, in the last video, uh, Saturdays usually aren't very good around here. And uh, we came home around 9.30 and there was quite a number of cars in the uh, uh, housing edition, so everything was still on the table, so we decided to pull stuff out and sold another $159 worth of stuff. So what I decided to do is uh, put all the vintage toys after we closed on a table and took uh, multiple photos and posted it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I put uh, $100. Uh, but you have to buy it all. And I did have one person interested in it. So he's going to be coming to purchase all this stuff. And I know the individual and he has a big sale a couple times a year. So I'm going to offer him all this stuff also. And uh, pretty much I will sell out. So I did take some of the premium toys in the house. I'll sell those on eBay. But uh, yeah, pretty incredible to actually sell out at your garage sale. So uh, with him buying this stuff, uh, I'll pretty much get close to three grand on 
the stuff I decided to sell at the garage sale and the uh, the remaining stuff I have for sale, probably another 500 worth of stuff, but I'll sell that on eBay. So again, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.